If you work in data, you probably have heard of ETL and ELT. Is one old and the other new? Not really. These two are important data engineering concepts that describe on how your data would flow through your data platform. ETL stands for Extract, Transform, and Load, and you guess it, ELT stands for Extract, Load, and Transform. But what does it mean? Initially, we use relational databases to store our results of our data pipeline. And if you extract the data from somewhere, you need to transform it, model it, in order to be able to store it into a relational database. Problem is that during this past few years, we were producing much more data at an incredible speed. And ETL is a bit rigid in this case and can be time consuming because you need to transform and model the data even if you're not sure what you're gonna do with it but we want at least to capture it. And that's where ELT come into play. With storage technology like S3 or Google Cloud Storage, it's far more easier now to store data without transforming it. You can store any type of data, files, video, image. There is no constraint in terms of schema and file format. And that's the dangerous effect of ELT. If you abuse that pattern too much without transforming it, you end up with a lot of data that doesn't make any sense. And you're just pushing back the problem of transformation and modeling. So bottom line, both concepts are still really relevant today at the right balance.